My name is Tyler Ferris. I am a senior mechanical engineering major here at Baylor University. My name is Olivia Hurst and I am a senior studying mechanical engineering here at Baylor University. At Baylor, I was given a lot of opportunities to pursue research. When I first began research, I was working on a single wind tunnel. And then over the course of my two years, I branched out and began working on a second wind tunnel and a third wind tunnel. Our situation is really unique getting to do undergraduate research here at Baylor. Tyler and I have actually published three papers, and not many people can say that they've done that, especially as undergraduates. That's, that's pretty unheard of, but not at Baylor. At Baylor, you get that opportunity. We currently have three different projects that we're working on, one of which we're currently teaching a series of two different students how to run most of the wind tunnels in the labs. Um, this will give the students a lot of valuable experience at, at Baylor before they actually leave. Another project that we're working on is actually trying to make some correlations between data that we've gotten in the past semesters to come up with an equation that will make it easier for other researchers doing similar things to what we do. In terms of the equipment that we have at Baylor, there are a bunch of different wind tunnels. The Buck is basically an open circuit cascade wind tunnel designed to model high altitude uh, flow conditions that you would normally see inside a bit of jet engine at high altitudes. It's basically a, lot, a very niche environment that has a ton of research opportunities, especially if you're interested in jet engines. We currently use the foam cutter to cut airfoil shapes we put inside of our cascade wind tunnel or even, even creating airfoils that we test inside the subsonic wind tunnel. The uh, Baylor University subsonic wind tunnel is a large wind tunnel designed to have a very low turbulence flow where you can calibrate equipment, run airfoil tests, so it has a large 2x2 two two, uh, foot test section that you can do a lot of different experiments in. The suction surface tunnel is actually a lead off from the uh, Baylor University cascade wind tunnel. So the subsonic tunnel calibrates the equipment for the BUC, the BUC finds trends, and then the suction surface finds quantifiable data. And all, all these wind tunnels, they work in concert with each other, do a lot of fun little things. And so there are definitely opportunities to work on all three of these tunnels at Baylor. Immediately after college, I hope to get a job or an internship. I'm trying to decide still between getting an MBA or a master's in mechanical engineering, but I definitely wouldn't be considering a master's in doing research if I hadn't had this opportunity. After graduation, I plan to pursue a master's degree in aerospace engineering at either Stanford University or Purdue University. My experience here in the lab has given me valuable skills and knowledge that I would not have gained otherwise. I've been very lucky to have the opportunities that I have. Every single one of them has been because of Baylor.